Hello everybody, it's time once again for another Christmas reading tonight. Coming to you from Finding Nemo. A big blue Christmas. Dad woke up. Wake up, Nemo shouted early one morning as he swam back and forth across the anemone home. What is it, Nemo? <laughs> Asked Marlin. Was he in a hurry? Are you hurt? Is something wrong? No, Dad. The little clown fish answered. It's just that I have a terrific idea. It's almost Christmas. Could we have a holiday party? Sounds like fun, Nemo, Marlin said with a yawn. But let's wait until after breakfast to start the planning. But right after breakfast, Nemo and Marlin made a list of friends to invite. It was a long list because they had friends all over the ocean. Marlin, how oh, they let everyone know in time? I can ask Bruce, Chum, and Anchovy. He helped spread the word. Nemo, however. No one can say no to those guys. Marlin thought it over. Nemo was right. No fish she knew wanted to get on a shark's bad side. All right, son, he said, but be careful. I know, Dad, Nemo said. See you later, he called as he swam off. Nemo swam as fast as he could. The old shipwreck where the shark's friend hung up. Hey, Bruce, guys, Nemo said when he arrived. Check out what the tide washed in, said Anchor. Why, it's our little friend, I mean, a little food, I mean friend, Nemo. Chubb said, what brings you out this way, Nemo? Asked Bruce. The little clown fish told them all about the Christmas party. The sharks were thrilled. They had been invited to many parties. Then Nemo asked them to help tell everyone about it. You can count on us, Bruce said proudly. Thanks, said Nemo. And guys, we will be counting our guests so too, so remember, fish are friends, not food, the four of them said together. <clears throat> Nemo swam home as fast as he could. His father was swimming back and forth, cost the enemy nervously. We need a plan, the menu, Marlin muttered, and then... There, there's clearly cleaning and decorating and stop right there dad said Nemo we're going to need help I'll be back later with more fins Nemo had made some great friends when he had been captured and put in the tank in the dentist's office the whole tank gang had eventually escaped and were now living in the ocean Nemo went to find them to ask them for help with the party. <coughs> when Nemo returned home that afternoon, two of his old pals from the tank gang were here with him. Deb, the blue and white humbug fish, she got to work on the food, but she insisted on keeping the dessert a surprise. Ja Jacqueline was a tiny cleaning strip. He just started to work, work doing what he did best, cleaning. Soon the anemone was so clean it sparkled. 
Too bad Flo could be here, said Deb. She does like parties. Nemo and Marlin winked at each other. They knew Flo was really only Deb's reflection in the tank. <clears throat> Next, Nemo swam off to find their friends Dory and Regal Blue Tankfish. Do, you know, do, you, do I know you, Dory asked. When Nemo finally found her, Nemo smiled. Dory was the most forgetful fish he knew. All of a sudden, Dory hugged him and said, Nemo, I've missed you. Would you like to help us decorate for a party, said Nemo. I love parties, said Dory. At least, I think I love parties. Can't really remember if I've ever been to one. That afternoon, Dory, Marlin, and Nemo worked on putting up all the decorations. They hung streamers and wreaths and decorated a conch shell like a Christmas tree. Meanwhile, the sharks were busy inviting all the guests. Finally, just as the sea turtle w were left, three sharks took a ride on the East Australian current to catch up with them. Hey, shark dude, Crush said. What's happening? Nemo and Marlin asked us to invite you to a holiday party back at the Anemone. Bruce said, Awesome, said Crush. I love parties. Squirt popped up from underneath Crush's back flipper. Hey, dude, can I come too? Of course, said Crush. Come. Nemo wants all his friends. I mean, friends. All his boots. I mean, friends. They're cool, said Squirt. Alright. Back at the anemone, there was only one more detail left to play. A good party needed great music. That gave Nemo an idea. Nemo went to see his friend Todd the butterfly fish, Sheldon the seahorse, and Pearl the squid. Hi Nemo, said Sheldon. Hi guys, Nemo said. Guess what, my dad and I are having a holiday party. But we need a band. I thought we could play. Cool, said Pearl. I've been humming jingle shells all day. Let's practice right now, added Todd. He grabbed some help, help and started a strum. Pearl joined in on a sand dollar tambourine. Sheldon cut the beat with clamp. Then Nemo joined in on a conch shell. On the second verse, they practiced all afternoon. It'll be great, Nemo said when they had finished. They sounded really good. See you at the party. Time to open presents, announced Marlin. He swam over to the conch shell tree. Dory swam around to the other guests, muttering, What is that? Presents I brought. Wait, did I bring presents? Whose birthday is it anyways? All around, Nemo and his friends were opening presents and thanking each other. But Nemo was most excited about watching Bubbles open the gift he had gotten for him. The yellow tang fish was another one of the old friends from the tank at the dentist office. Open it, Bubbles. Open it, he urged. Inside, Bubbles found a brand new tiny treasure chest. When he opened the top, a cloud of bubbles came out. Bubbles giggled. How I've missed my bubbles. Thank you, Nemo. The little treasure chest was one of the few things any of them missed from the old days, living in the tank. 
he might have found it on the ocean floor during the trap trip with his father. He knew that it was the perfect gift for Bubbles. After all the presents were open, Nemo decided it was time for some live music. Come on, guys, Nemo whispered to Pearl, Sheldon, and Todd. Time to get everyone singing and dancing. And they did. The guests all turned and watched Nemo, Sheldon, Todd, and Pearl start to play. We wish you a merry fish, miss. Mr. Ray, Nemo's teacher, sang along loudly. Even the sharks flipped their fins to the beat. The party really got swinging as the band played more Christmas carols. In between songs, Deb swam over to Nemo. Great party, Deb, said. Your dad is such a nice guy. Isn't that wonderful being able to travel the big white ocean and visit friends? You bet, Deb, Nemo answered. He stopped fins with his friends. Fish aren't meant to live in tanks. <clears throat> it was getting late, and soon the guests began to swim home, calling out Merry Christmas and Happy New Year as they left. When the last of the guests were gone, Nemo turned to his father and smiled. Dad, this was fun, the best. Christmas ever. You bet it was, said Marlin. We sure are lucky to have such many good friends. But the best gift of all is a special Christmas with you. And he gave his son a big hug. All right, well, that was tonight's story. I hope you enjoyed it. Till we see each other again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.